How many clients do you have? I have like Happy three birthday. like regulars. How much per- Uh, Toronto man's? Turd. I'd say like a 200. Sometimes they make me stay like over the weekend. I sh them every time Happy I have to birthday. go. When what? I have the run. Like they like to get sh when I have the run. Like yeah. diarrhea. Well, I don't have a problem shitting like on people because I like went to jail. So like you have to shit in front of people when you're in a cell. So I went to jail for pepper spraying someone. Why'd you pepper spray him? Um, because she was trying to fight me and I don't fight because that's ratchet and I'm like a grown woman. So would you let someone poo on you? Chat, I guess I, I never understand this chat. I see this all the time. Shit, and I'm like a grown woman. This is it like a clan tag? M C M X C V symbol. Chat, Women, so. Would you let someone poo on you? No. <laughs> Why not? Roman numerals. But you do it to them. Yeah, but I don't even. Happy I like. I hate men. Time. Like, I'm not letting them shit on me. I'm Sagittarius Shoddy. And I'm known for being a battery ting. What's that mean? I get fucked by multiple guys at a time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. What's your biggest turnoff? White penis. Because it looks like raw chicken. When you say white, do you mean all, all types of white? So you're including Eastern Europeans in that bracket? Yeah. It looks like raw chicken. Like. What about like Central Asian whites, like Kazakhs? Um, I have bad experience with Asians. So. All Asians? No, I had one bad experience, so I don't fuck with Asians anymore. All I can fix her boot. Wait, raw chicken? I hate all the drama lately. Is pink. Your Johnson around and all the women here are whores. Okay. Never mind, you have the card there. This guy caps way too much, so we can't even trust anything. Brittany much fam. Love, okay, okay. Never mind, you have the card there. Yeah, this guy was telling me the story about Brittany fam. He was at Brittany's crib, and you know, he was telling me she had all these toys and shit. He said, don't, don't even put the mic in his face. He's talking <laughs> cap, bro. There's, I don't know anybody named Brittany. Toronto motherfucker. Are you from Toronto? I'm not from Toronto. Thanks, man. Appreciate you guys. Nike or Budweiser? Budweiser. Why? Uh, they're both shit. Why are you so strong? True. I lift. That's facts. Trudeau, fuck him. How come? Just cuz. It's the craziest drug you've ever done. Black tar, heroin. What do you think made you want to do it in the first place? I, I seen this guy doing it. Him and his mom. Him and his mom together. Hey, what? have you ever done black tar heroin? No, my dad has. Bye. What's your dad's number? He doesn't have one. I just, he sees me when he sees me. Do you have a message for your dad? Please lay off the crystal meth. I love you. Hey, yo, what's going on, fam? You good, fam? You saying, fam? Before I was saying fam, I was saying bro. And before I was saying bro, I was saying dog. And a dog and a bro is still your fam. So I just took away the dog, took away the bro, and now I say fam. So we're here in Toronto. What? I for those who don't know, can you tell us your name and what you do for a living? My name is Box, and I just get money. I don't really have a job, but... Guys, it's, guys, guys, I, it's really hard to flex as a Canadian, because my name is Box, and because this is what you look like when you when you when you're counting your money, or whatever. Look at that. It's fucking like these little slabs of plastic. I just get money. It's just I not really a flex. Have a it's job, just not. But like I hustle. I have a you lot of clothes to be money. honest. I'm just, wearing baby Gucci right now. That's true. Box in the car. Don't sleep on my music. Yeah, don't sleep. <laughs> Let me tell you guys the story about how I almost died smoking a cigarette. So you know, I go outside to smoke a cigarette. I'm on my porch sitting down smoking a cigarette. Right. And the car drives by slowly. He's grilling me. So I'm grilling him back. I have the cigarette in my mouth. I'm grilling him. And then he rolls down his window when he starts shooting like bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm like, fuck, fam. After the first shot, I felt something hit me. So I flipped over and I ran into my backyard, fam. And I hopped the fence. And when I hopped the fence, I realized the bogey still in my hand. So I'm like, what the fuck is this bogey still doing in my hand? I tossed it. And I'm like, fuck, I ran to the store. And I asked the store man one more time, did I get shot? Look, he's like, yes. So I'm like, call the ambulance, fam. Well, I'm glad you're okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure, fam. What? Oh, that was the scariest shot. That was the scariest thing I ever seen in my life. That's why I changed my rap name. You say you guys are hiding, I say all you guys are lying. Not talking about hiding sequence, I say all you guys are hiding. I slide, say hi. My guys got straps in the side. Yeah, hi. I'm live. QP, I spent about five. Two threes, you see my fees. Send me beats and EMTs. Fuck up, bitch in a BMB. I blew up like TNT. Just when I thought I had Canada Chad, figured out. Chad, why, why does. Okay, Canada speaks English, right? But out of all provinces, Toronto, a lot of people like to act and talk like they're from the UK when you're talking English. Why? Why? Why this one province out of all the other provinces? Why did they, why does Toronto, uh, they do this, this, this British thing? I don't get it. I found myself in a strange land, far, far away from the cowboys and gravel miners of Calgary. I extract rocks out of the earth, crush them and process them. They do uniform shapes to be used in Calgary. I knew nothing of Toronto, other than the fact that it was kind of fucked up. Toronto's kind of fucked up. So I had to learn more. 
but I wasn't sure how to begin. That's when I remembered. One of my favorite college professors, Dr. Jim Dugan, once told me that in the field of anthropology, the best way Yo. way to understand a culture is in its language. Language is how people negotiate, contest, communicate, and reproduce cultural forms using verbal expression. I figured I'd begin my research by developing a lexicon of Toronto terminology. Could you break some basic Toronto slang down for us? Okay, okay. so first of all, you have I'm cheesed or you're cheesing me. I'm cheese me. Chad, why don't people invent a, a more hard language to learn on purpose that's global and everybody talks that? if you're smart enough to learn it, so people can talk smart. So instead of going around and talking that in a language, right? You can talk amongst people that, that know better, right? So you don't have to talk to the plebs. I'm mad, you're cheesing me, means you're pissing me off. There's also a life mosh, like when something like messes your life up just for a second. I'll give you an example. One time I dropped oh, all my weed on that, the floor then? and like my life was mosh. Cause I couldn't even smoke my weed no more than I just bought. To get girks is to get robbed. When someone girks you, they robbed you or they beat you up. Honestly, anytime I ever got girks, I got back at the people that tried to do that shit to me. I don't want to talk about that shit though. I've been girked before though, but I girked the man back. Do you say A or anything like that? Fucking A, that guy's a beauty, eh? All the gas prices, eh? Ukraine doesn't need fuck off. I say A sometimes, yeah. See? At the end of the sentence, sometimes, sometimes. Not really. I say fat there's, there's every usually sentence. more. Is there anything you won't say? I won't say Western shit that'll get me put in jail. Right? <laughs> so my name is Plush and I'm from Western Road. You already know. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh man. Chat. What's up with Toronto uh, girls? What's 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 up with that? I guess I I guys. I'm not trying to discriminate. Okay, or be rude. What's up with the with the Toronto girls? There's a there's a problem. It's problem. No. Bitch, if you don't fuck with me, you're a loser, fam. You gotta fuck with me. I'm gonna put Western Road on the map. You already know. Let's get it. Let's go. It's plush. Western Road is a road in Toronto, and it's my community. Yes. Is that when Drake says, I finessed on Western Road? Is he talking yes. about where you're from? Yes, we all finesse. What does it mean to finesse on Western Road? Um, It means like you're, you're probably the one. You're probably the one on that block making the most money. You're flipping the packs. You're finessing these mans out of their pockets. Only only Western Road mans can finesse on Western Road actually. Like if you're not from Western Road, please don't come on Western Road. The fire crews are hosing down this scene here at the strip plaza here at Western Road. So how would you describe your environment growing up? So I grew up on Western Road, like Chad, south side. Chad, the way she talks, guys, what why what she talk like that? Why she talk like that? Western Lawrence. Um, it's quite a community there. I didn't really run into a lot of problems there. I honestly love it. Um, it's a little bit rough. Like, I didn't fit in in school too much. You know I'm on that drill shit. You know I seen you on my block with your new bitch. I used to come home and chill, like, on the block. Western Lions, you already know what's up. But yeah, I would say if you know what's up, it's you know, okay. You know, this can still be deleted, right? This can still be unreleased, I think. There's still a chance, I mean. Okay, you just stay uh, well, to yourself. Wait, uh, you move how you move. Have you ever been I'm to Calgary? Just, just, I have I'm never just, been. Just, Can you teach us some basic rudimentary Toronto slang? Nice it. Basically, shut the f up. You feel me? Nice your beak like you're too annoying. Wagwan, what's up? Um, buck tea. You feel me? Like a homeless person lurking around. Um, you got balling up rules. If the spliff is Ita, don't even pass it to me. And that means there's no grab on the spliff, and that's rough. If oh my God! Look at those grab, legs on these eyes. That's crazy. I'm from the West End. Come collect your man. Bitch gang gang, bitch gang gang I'm on my money shit, you're on some funny shit Bitch you're a telly bitch, go get your money sis ah. How do you feel about Israel? Oh um, wow That's wow. a very scary t Oh man, those fingernails too, I mean look at those, what the fuck Um, that's a Oh my god, dude how is that even legal man? Dude chat, if you have like these like weird ass fucking like metal claws That's a weapon, right? And it's not even legal why, why can't you have that? Look, look, look! Look, you get swiped by that, you die! You die. Very scary look. topic to talk about. I'm Palestinian, so let's just remember, like, even my father, who had to move from Palestine, like, years ago, like, 60 years ago. Uh, uh, this is after a brief civil war with the Palestinians, uh, the indigenous inhabitants of Palestine. About 720,000 of them were forced to flee for a variety of reasons, including terror, including ethnic cleansing. Like, it was still going on. Good job, guys, guys. Imagine, Chad, that, that some a feather lands on your eye when you're sleeping, right? And it tickles you, and you wake up and you go, bang, to, to scratch, because you go, bang. 
And bro, you're you're piercing all the way in. And then, and the media is just really shining on it now. So let's just remember that it's been going on, and let's just pray, you yeah. know. But the government, Canada, like it's so quick. You guys hop to bring Ukrainians here. What did you do for Palestine? We stand with Israel. Women and kids have been forced out of their homes. It's unimaginable. Just saying. Let's get it. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Repeat that whole thing. I wasn't listening. For that, it's been going on, and let's just pray. You yeah. know, but the government, Canada, like it's so quick. You guys hop to bring Ukrainians here. What did you do for Palestine? We stand with Israel. Women and kids have been forced out of their homes. It's unimaginable. The what? Just saying. Let's get it. Let's go. Right. Do you know where the Toronto accent came from? Yeah, it came from different places. Cause Toronto is like everybody in Toronto is like from a different place, fam. Unless you're born in Toronto. Where's your family from? And my family's from Jamaica. But a lot of the slang is Jamaican, like Ute. Big up the Ute, them. Big up the whole island. Bro, I'm going to say, she said, she, I, I, I just, I didn't get the editing. I, I didn't get what was the, the, um, the, um, the transfer. Big up the youth, them. Big up the whole <laughs> island, massive. Jana star. But you also have a lot of Somalis out here that, um, a lot of people copy their slang too, like Bucktees. Where, where did that come from? You feel me? I, 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 I like that, though. I like that. It just depends who you show with. I see people. I like that a lot. Like and no joke though. Color, fam. I'm all here, fam. It just depends who you're around and how they talk, because they're gonna pick up the lingo from your friends. Do you know a lot of Jamaicans? Um, I do, I do. Right now in my life, I'm very dolo. I cut mostly class. What everyone does that off. Mean? But yeah, before I used to chill around a lot of Jamaicans, a lot of Africans. I was very diverse. At some point, I realized that what I believe to be the Toronto. Did I say that? accent was oh. really just a modified version of the semi pidgin yes, English right. spoken by Jamaicans in England. I did my thing today. I gave out the Canada gizzard. Kiss, kiss. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a slur? Okay. Uh, I mean, guys, guys, guys here's, here's what it works, okay? If you can say it in chat, okay, and it doesn't get flagged by any, anything, and we're on Twitch, Twitch flags the R word, okay? So you guys, if you guys don't flag a fucking slur, okay? Well, I mean, motherfucker. Say it from Love you, bro which composes a very small minority of Toronto residents. The vast majority of the metro area sounds pretty much like I do. So to get a more standard Anglo-normative understanding of what it means to be a Toronto man's, I went to the nearby suburb of Mississauga to oh, meet I with a local man who this claimed nice to be very well versed in Canadian history and geopolitics. So, um, for those who don't know, can you tell us your it's name nice, and uh, what you're known for? Very calm. My name's Kyle Forjard. Uh, I guess I'm known for being in the Nelk Boys. And you are Canadian. I'm Canadian, from Mississauga, Ontario. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about Canadian culture. So I was hoping I could ask you a few things about what it means to be Canadian and different regional specifics that could help me get a better understanding of your great nation. Okay. What do Canadians take the most pride in? Hot girls. Toronto the women are the best possible women to have sex with. Very monogamous and great in bed. Hockey. It is just after 8.30. The game ended about an hour ago. And this is the scene on Georgia Street. Good food. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we fucking battled with the, the English and the French fought over us, right? English won. They gave the French Quebec. And English took the rest. Canada ranks. All right. Go back now. Pretty sure we fucking battled with the, the English and the French fought over us, right? English won. They gave the French Quebec. And English took the rest. Canada ranks among the top 10 happiest countries in the world. Growing up in Canada was- Yeah, and they had one job. They had one job. It was to make, make people speak English, right? And they gave up. They, they gave up, dude. It is what it is. Yo, yo. You guys can make fun of us as much as you want to, okay? They had one job. They couldn't fucking do it, man. We fucking held strong, bro. We fucking held strong. What? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we did. And now we have a bunch of weird words, right? Like, you know, when you get the mail, right? In French, you say, you say, oh, um, on va aller à la boîte aux lettres. Here we say, pong la mal. You know, though, mailbox, mail, mal, you know? We, we, had the, we had these slangs now because they, they tried to make us speak English and we said no. So we had, um, we had like, we had like, uh, for English. It was like a blessing. What's your favorite childhood memory? Just playing street hockey every day after school. Like every day, just come home, straight to the garage, grab the hockey sticks, street hockey. Yeah! Till dinner, <laughs> maybe a little street hockey after. <laughs> what, the Bedtime, wake up for school the next day, repeat. Oh, no, no, no. I fucking burned! <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, no, keep the cotton on there, you have to keep the cotton on there. What's your most traumatic childhood memory? Fuck. Chat, hold up. 
Chat, believe it or not, chat, we have a sport here, chat, called hockey butts in, right? Butts in means uh, uh, um, boots for winter. And, and we, had, we play soccer. Instead, it's a, it's a plastic hockey puck. And we, uh, we score goals uh, on the fucking, uh, in between cones, dude. Well, uh, yeah, it, it, bro, it's boot hockey. It's a real thing. I don't really have one, man. I just had such a fun childhood. I don't know, it was fire. Played it by my, my, my childhood. What makes it different uh, traditionally from the United States? I think it's less racist. There's obviously like, there's always gonna wait, 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 be- Wait, what is it? Traditionally from the United States. I think it's less racist. There's obviously like, there's always gonna be racism, right? But you can't like eradicate uh, no, racism. Right. But it's just different, I don't know. I mean, I guess we're known for having nice people, but I feel like there's a lot of Canadian assholes too. Where do you think the most assholes in Canada live? Quebec. Guys, because... Okay, hold up. <laughs> yeah, hold up. Hold up. I, I, I chat, guys. Guys, we are interrupting the, uh, the full broadcast today, chat. Guys, we are, chat. Whatever we had planned today, chat, I'm cutting right here. I'm full stun locked, okay? Okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking argue this fucking semantics with the guy that says, Hey, did this thing? Hey, what fucking Toronto Andy. This guy, I never just said in front of the camera and said, they have hot girls in Toronto. No, you do not. That is the fucking, that is the biggest lie ever said in mankind, dude. What? Why is that? They're just kind of stuck up. You know, like if you don't speak French and shit, they don't really fuck with you. Like you go to Tim. Yeah, 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 guys. I tried the nightlife in fucking Toronto, dude. 11, bro, 11 p.m.? 11 p.m.? Midnight, the streets are fucking empty. They have like a curfew out there or some shit. Then, bro, I think they have a curfew or some shit like that, right? Bro, they, it's there's nothing going on at night. It's dead. It's dead. It's so Martin's dead. You ask for coffee, you gotta order in French. A bagel with fucking cheese and, and garlic. I said it three times. Sorry, I don't speak A bagel? I don't have to speak You guys are racist, discriminating people. The surveillance camera captures an employee throwing a cup of coffee on a customer. Sometimes I just want to speak English still, you know? Like... Has Canada changed since you were a youngster? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just more like, it's just becoming more and more like... Let me explain the dynamic, okay? Yes, this is a video guy, guys, this is, you guys, today, you guys are going to learn, okay? We have fucking laws in this bitch, okay? If you have a sign, let's say you have a sign, you put it in front of the street, okay? You have a business, okay? If this is your sign, okay? You, you're not allowed to do, to do, let's say, this, right? You know bread, right? You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do this, and, and in front, it's pain, right? So I'm pretty sure this is still in, in, in effect, right? Well, you're not allowed to have this, right? It has to be French bigger first and then, and then English, right? So you always have to, there's like a percentage, whatever, because they're trying to keep the fucking, they're trying to keep the language. So uh, English has to be smaller um, than the French and has to be like, like yes, that works. So then, so that's something. Hold up. There, 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 there's more, there's more, there's more. Okay, there's more. If you go to a place of business, right, and somebody speaks English, I think it's up to the, it's up to the person that, that works there. They're allowed to um, respond in French, right? And if you want to get mad about it, you can, right? You can. But I think they're allowed to, re to respond in French only and just get mad about it, right? Is, 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 that, is that how it works? I don't remember how that works anymore. To be honest, I was about to escape, but I don't think I know what you did myself. To be honest, it's a dick move, but some people do it. And I think I think it's a dick move as well. I think it's a dick move. I, I agree as well. But if people do that, chat and chat in a bunch of places, chat. If you go in there and you speak English, you say, "Hi, um, hi, how are you?" They, ça va bien, and then they'll speak in French, and you're like, "Dude, yeah, definitely." I think it's just more like it's just becoming more and more like government controlled now. It's like fucking borderline communist now, I think. Well, yeah, okay, it's true. Like, it's crazy. Canada's Botox dictator, Justin Trudeau, wasted no time in using the tragedy in the US to his own political advantage in Canada. Today, we are closing the market for military grade assault weapons in Canada. We are banning 1,500 models and variants of these firearms by way of regulations. Yeah. He's a loser. I don't That's actually, the laws are so shit. You can have, um, 
small mag ARs, but not handguns. What? The way of regulations. He's a loser. I don't know, just the way he handled the whole fucking pandemic shit, I thought was like pretty bullshit. We are implementing the Quarantine Act yeah, you, yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, all yeah. Canadians safe. Face coverings become mandatory in Toronto, Ottawa, and most eastern parts of the province. A York Region couple has been charged after allegedly breaking the federal Quarantine Act. So they want to use me as an example. They want to throw the book at me. They literally got locked up for like two years. It was depressing, dude. How do Canadians feel about PC culture? Did I just hear someone use a microaggression? Like cancellation and shit? Yeah. But I think there is like a huge bit of people in Canada that are like fed up with, with PC bullshit. I think, yeah, I think COVID just really set people off. Like at first I'd go back and no one was, everyone was agreeing with the government. And then like six months later, everyone's like, KO, enough's enough. And it became like, I feel like people are speaking out now. The Canadian truckers, you've been reading about it. Yeah. Also though, also though, people need to people need to understand that that um, Canada uh, at uh, yeah, if I'm wrong, we've had a lot of like big rounds of immigration, whether it's like through, which is good, uh, whether it's like a, a, a people seeking uh, a, 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 like refugees or whatever, a bunch, and it's extremely culturally diversified, right? And 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 the, the culture, it, so so people people that are people that are that are molding, I mean. They can mold as much as they want to, right? But it's very, it's very diversified. I don't know what you guys are saying. I'm saying Pepe laugh. It's not even a bad thing. Not even a bad thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. It's so it's like, you know. We are with them all the way. They all. are. They've really shown something. These big rigs have a lot to say. Trudeau closed down the border to any um, transnational well, what's PC? Of international long haul truckers that were carrying goods um, if they weren't vaccinated. These kind of choices shouldn't be mandated. For two weeks now, these protesters have laid siege to this city. A state of emergency has now been declared in Ontario. How do you think that like Toronto is different from the rest of the country? Toronto's just like that city. Like Toronto's just like. The scene in Toronto, the city's like, it's always on fire, especially in the summer too. Like the bars, the restaurants. I think Toronto is the hottest girls. They're just hot, bro. They're just, I don't know. You've been there, right? I like to lay out like a dead fish. Yo, man, man, man. What is this guy? Okay, this, chat, this is what you would call a paid actor, okay? I don't know if he works at the government, or if, I mean, maybe he works for the city. He's, he's like in the councils like that. He's trying to do like a wave of, of uh, tourism. He's trying to put it in, in a good light. Everything he's saying is wrong. It's all wrong. Bro, they're just... Uh the nightlife sucks. The girls are not hot. And, and they're, they're not like hot, hot. Regardless of looks and behavior, they're not hot either. I don't know. You've been there, right? Mm -hmm. I like to lay out like a dead fish. At least if you come back, come back girls, they're gonna, they're gonna trash you, but I mean... Why? He's tatted that's, up, he's big, that's fine. Like, you know? He's sexy. Who else would you let shit in your mouth? Um, you. I don't know if I'd be able to bring myself there mentally. Why? Well, because I'm sort of uh, bathroom shy. So are you capping? I'm not, I would never cap in the face of a legend. <laughs> you like ASAP yams? Yeah, I do. You have a crybaby tattoo? Yeah. Is that for Lil Peep? Yeah. I think he's sexy and I wish he would come alive and fuck me. A research associate told me that Toronto has the most attractive and coolest women in the world. Do you believe that is true? No. Because <sighs> Toronto things are set up. They're set up things. What's a set up thing? They set up people, you know, they're like, they're not... Like you think it's a hot girl, but it's a girl's older brother kicks you in the nuts and takes your iPhone? Basically, yeah. Gotcha. Not their brother, more likely their, their pants. Tell them! There's a lot of greasers there too. Yeah. What's a greaser? Just like a not, not a very good looking girl. Okay. Doesn't shower, like, you know. All right, what are the top five greaser cities in Canada? Brantford, Ontario. I haven't even been there, but I just know, like, Regina, Saskatchewan. Like, there can't be anything good going on there. I haven't been, but I just know. Um, Hamilton, Ontario, locals only. Surrey, BC. They all freaking steal your car. Yeah, and Fredericton, New Brunswick. What about up north in uh, okay, Baffin yeah, okay. Island? Baffin Island? Nobody lives there. Is that reserves? It's pretty sad what happens up there. I've never been up there. It's only a few thousand people. 
probably mostly greasers. There's probably that Alcoholism one is there massive. There's like discovered. corruption. They're there? like underhelped. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really bad. Really? Why not? I've never been. You want to go to Baffin? Sure. What do you, what's your dream for your whole life? Just a, a lot of problems stack and get worse, and they, they don't really get help and, and whatnot. And it's just gonna, it just gets worse. He set up for life. Set my family up for life. Set my friends up, and then hopefully just be doing something that I love still. Don't ever get a pimp. Pimps are fucking useless. Be the fucking renegade in the tally. Make your own money. Keep your own money. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Thank We've you. learned a lot. We're happy to be in your country. <laughs> What do you guys think about her? She's a fucking Toronto legend, fam. Holy. One of a kind, fam. One of a kind from Toronto. Was there a particular moment in that interview that stood out as being exceptionally Canadian? Canadian, but Drake. I don't know if that's Canadian. That's just, uh... Canadians aren't fucking... It was the natives, you know? Like, if you really think about it. So, like, those are Canadians, but... It depends who you talk to still. You know, but Toronto is filled with a whole bunch of sick what? people, you know? Sick people like all of us, you know? I think um, huh? we must give our thanks to the people who gave us this land so we can bust wheelies on it. That's what I say. Bust wheelies? So you guys go pretty hard on the bikes. He almost died. Injured myself oh. last year, injured myself this year, all from the bikes. Is there a video of this fall? Oh, that's tough. Huh? You're a pussy fam. Um, hold on, I need a minute. Any minute, I fucking forgot the Toronto Barber Tings, MVP. Um, that I feel Toronto. Like I seen Wait. you. I feel like I seen you on TikTok before. Man. Oh, Come on, like, I've man. I've seen this guy before. Let me give you a piece of grava. But yeah, uh, guys, what? what is going on? And I don't share my Dude, I, what is going on? I don't know what's happening. Let me give you on TikTok before. Man. Come on, like, man. I've seen this guy before. Let me give you a piece of grava. A but, grab yeah, guys, What is that? Rules, and I don't share my splizzy with no one because there's things guaning out here. And I don't share the splizzy because there's thing out here. What the fuck is that? Yeah. After years exploring the depths of America, I felt that finally I'd found paradise in the great white north. A place of liberation, a multicultural success, free from the oppressive chains of the American regime. My brother's but now that I'd spoken with my brothers and sisters up north, I had a burning curiosity <laughs> about our amigos and amigas down south. Peace. Hola, mi nombre es Andrew Callahan y hoy estamos en una ciudad que se llama Eagle Pass, una ciudad en Texas muy cerca a la frontera. In the past couple of years or the past couple months, Eagle Pass has kind of been the center of the uh, border crisis in the U.S. I think the uh, Border Patrol and ICE's budget is about 17 and 18 billion dollars per year, and they spend most of that money fortifying more traffic borders, like the border between El Paso and Juarez, San Ysidro and Tijuana, and even Laredo in South Texas. But in the past year. Wait, that's in the Paso movie. Juarez, San Ysidro, and Tijuana, and even Laredo. And Ch isn't, isn't this spot in um, in Better Call Saul? This one, right? South Texas. But in the past year... Or in Narcos. ...alone, about two million people have traveled illegally into the U.S., and the center of the migrant crisis has kind of been right here in Eagle Pass. So we're going to go into Mexico. It's the glory of the world, Padre. Fuck the authority, Channel 5 News. Channel 55, we don't fuck with Custers. And five is the best number. What's up, guys? Th thanks so much for watching this video. If you've made it to this point, I have great news for you. You're in the 95th percentile of attention span for Americans aged 25 to 32. So Understand. it's good to be here with you guys. I'd like to remind you that Channel 5 is and will always be completely independent and powered directly by your contributions on our Patreon. Anyways, guys, thanks I enjoyed that. That was for nice watching. Stuff. I appreciate you. Bye bye. That was nice. That was nice.